Welcome to the Rides by Chuck channel, where we delve into the car model building world here on YouTube. Grab a coffee, sit back, relax and check out today's show. Okay, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the continuation of the GTX build. That's right, we're back on this project. What we're doing is, we've got it in primer, and the primer looks awesome. I really like it. Or I should more specifically add, I really like how it laid down. This is perfect. So we're probably going to let it dry for till the weekend-ish, give or take. And which means we'll go on to bigger and better things at this moment. And that bigger and better things means installing the engine in the engine bay, putting on the exhaust, all of that good stuff. Now that the black is done is now when you put that insert perfect, in, that tire looks it, like it, that. It's about I'm what I'm, I'm going to use that for this the time. Inside. So we'll unwrap all of the, the goodness and we'll, and like we'll come back However, and look at the see second how tire. We are, it's oh, been I'm chewed up pretty freaking good. Make them look but not like if you put plastic that rim in there, rubber. It, okay, it okay, actually okay, okay, hides okay, a lot okay. of What I'm thinking on. of doing is, even though we've got Excuse silver my steel again. looking, whoops, if you put it in, over, there, not bad, it's it got so much a lot of that cutting. It so I think somebody twisted. at one time uh, must have whatever. cut a tire <coughs> out of there, is my uh, guess. Again. And Anyways, this is the yeah, old school uh, Polyglass GT L60 15. A little so bit. I think might I'm going to give it those numbers. Uh, and dark some iron are going to be dry too brush. Too. Dark iron. But just here's another thing I had to do. Whoa. The that. cast iron I'm exhaust. Here around. Cast I had to file not quite that down silver too. So because there's yeah. blue and whatever oh, else on that. Excuse my French. Excuse my Canadian there. I'm going to file the backing on it. I speak Canadian myself. So that is a couple of inserts. Anyways, I might rim darken doesn't up fit in there lighten up easy. that oil filter. So I had to file Some inside. of them were Look green. That, that green didn't come very in very good. In like that. And I'm just going to check over things before I install the engine to make sure everything's on there. So besides taking all of and, uh, that, just a lot of another plastic quick here. look at I mean, this chassis. Take a break. What do you guys chassis think? as I unmask it and prep it for dropping that engine in. So yes indeed, oh, I can video and unmask at the same time. How about that? Who says Chuff can't do two things at once? Who said he's the substandard leader on YouTube? So I probably could have used another coat of black. I think I mentioned this like 20 times on the engine bay, but that's okay. This one looks about good for what I want. And it does give it a little bit of highlight for that fake wiring there. I really like how I did this. That tur exhaust turned out better, darkening it up a little bit with that brushing of the dark iron. So, little bit, slight differences, right? And, oh, burping again. Holy, what's going on? What the fuck, Chuck? Uh, the typical old school, original Mopar green oil filter. So that stuff is done, so you probably won't even see most of that once you get it in the engine compartment. Speaking of engine bay, engine compartment, I actually took a couple minutes to inspect the instructions. That happens once in a while. <laughs> and uh, then I figured out, yeah, I need to put on my little items like master cylinders, wiper, battery, all that stuff. So we're going to do that. We're going to paint all that goodies up. Oh, I have to do the rad. Interesting. Or did I do the rad already? Nope. See, I have to go through everything and see what I've got painted and what I didn't paint and do that. Okay, friends, we ended up having to use my indoor window spray booth. So we sprayed this white, that's the uh, windshield washer reservoir. We did this a flat black, the front fan shroud. What else did I do? Uh, that I painted by hand. That is actually titanium on the top and silver on the bottom. You really can't tell. That was supposed to be rubber, which turned out more brown than anything. Yeah, maybe I should have stirred it up better. That's okay. It is what it is. We'll see what it looks like on the car. I did the small things on that too. The chrome. Hold on. 
did the other small things on the engine. See, they got the chrome uh, typical valve cover breather. So I did that with my newly acquired marker. What else did we do? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, blue regulator and the white ballast resistor. We've got that done and completed. Other than that, we once these other pieces dry, we'll assemble everything and get it ready to uh, put that motor in. Okay, we everything has dried. Give it like 30 minutes or so and glued everything on. The battery, the washer tank, everything looks good. Engine's all ready to go to glue in. However, I realized that yeah, somebody didn't paint the drive shaft, so I'm going to have to blah 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 because I'm I think I have to mate them together. Other than that, I'd have to chop the tips off and then glue that guy in there, which is fine too. But I want it in there, whatever <laughs> pinned in, I guess is the wording. So yeah, I'd like the look of that, the little color detailing. That all looks good and I cleaned off the mount surfaces for glue uh, yeah okay that can of gray steel gray is horrible it's like I said I'd frozen it before so it comes out like shit sprays everywhere smells bad but look at that effect I like that effect on the drive shaft that is fantastic wow that's gonna mesh in very well on this kit Hmm. Just as I had mentioned, this being lacquer, it's already dry, so we're ready to go. Ready to glue that engine in place and get things going here. So we have success. There we go. Everything is glued in, mounted in. So we're going to have to let things dry. Drive shaft turns. Oh, I can't show you right now. We'll show you another day. So looking good, weathered up, ready to go. The only thing I regret is the excess paint on the engine. That was way too thick. I should have thinned it down or sprayed it with some different kind of paint. But, all in all, I don't mind it. It looks fair enough for me, what we're trying to build this time around. So my friends, that means we put the coffee on hold and progress to bigger and better things. Cheers to you all for checking out my videos. I thank you muchly for hanging out with me today and take a sip and say aw. Oh. To go with that cheers. Actually that's smooth. That was a good mix. I did good on that one and the engine bay. So my friends, next video we got to get some tires going for this thing. It's coming along slowly, one step at a time. I like it. Thumbs up to me for getting things done, and thumbs up to you. Cheers, my friends. See you next time. Stay awesome until next time. Next video.